know that Earth is the only planet where fire can burn? Did you also know that for a fire to exist, it needs oxygen, fuel, and heat? Fire is a natural event that shapes our landscapes and ecosystems. But fire can also be highly dangerous and can cause damage to human stretches, as shown here. Last year, a total of 10.3 million acres burned across the United States, making 2020 the most extensive year for wildfires since the start of the millennium. 2020 was also the fifth warmest year on record. Our climate is changing globally, but so too are the interactions between people and fire. People and fire have always coexisted, but fire processes can be altered by the construction of human infrastructure, such as housing or roads. And this is especially problematic in places where human development and undeveloped wildland vegetation meet and intermingle. And these areas are known as the wildland urban interface. In these spaces, it is the proximity of development to forests and vegetation fuels that increases the risk of fire hazards. Fuels that with our changing climate will become drier and more prone to sparks in conditions with warmer air temperatures. And communities in these spaces are at greater risk of fire exposure. Yet between 1990 and 2010, the wildland urban interface was the fastest growing land use type in the United States, and it continues to expand. So how might we manage fire risk and exposure of wildland urban interface communities? How can we have a better understanding of the interactions between development and fire hazards? One way to achieve this is through maps. The best maps of development that we have available are not detailed enough to accurately capture development with a view to analysing it in the context of fire risk, fire history and future fire potential. This is what my research will address. I aim to map the wildland urban interface in the Snake River Plain of Southern Idaho at a finer resolution than has ever been done before. But maps alone are not enough to address this problem. So alongside these maps, my research asks, what factors influence the use of fire management strategies that could alter the exposure and vulnerability of communities to fire hazards. This is important as current understanding of how and why people make decisions concerning increased fire risk is limited. And this understanding is essential for future fire hazard adaption and prevention. But ultimately, why does this matter? 2020 showed us that the nature of fires in the Western US is changing and is changing rapidly. Fire processes can be unpredictable and can be altered by climate change, development, and human behavior. And my hope for this research is that scenes depicted in this image will become less common in the future, in a world characterized by a changing climate where people and fire continue to coexist. Thank you.